Sian here and in today's session I'm going to show you one thing that you want to stop doing when it comes to your forehead. So basically, I've been working with players for years and again this is one of the most common mistakes, most common errors that players are losing the lower part of their body. What I'm gonna show you just like I showed in the hitting, basically what happens is that the player comes here, he wants to put in the body into the ball and then he does something like this. He's losing completely the, 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 the right leg, the right hip, basically the, the right part of his body goes over the left part and he steps in and he's losing it and he goes he steps in like this now if you have the kind of a beginner level maybe it's fine but if you more medium more medium to advanced uh, you want to focus on this you want to eliminate this when you see the pros they're usually not losing this step there now there are many reasons why you don't want to lose this step yeah number one imagine you're playing a match and you're playing somebody quite good you are in this position here on the forehead and then suddenly you do this. At this moment, you lost one step, but it's gonna take you two steps to recover back. Yeah? Imagine if you were in the position that you're playing here, when you see pros, Djokovic or Federer, just in comparison, they're holding it there, they're not losing it, and then they're not losing the step, so that's just to recover, they just have to do one step here, if it's this one, and then that, or if these two cover more, they do cross, then side step and then they are back. So it's very easy because they are in control of the legs there. Yeah? So rather than doing this, when you're losing the step, now you're losing the position, you have to go one and then two. So you're doing one extra step. And in some cases, you might have to go from here, one, two, again. So it's just much more kind of distance to cover. So try not to lose this step, try not to do this. Yeah? It's like years ago when I worked at the at the Sanchez Casal Academy in Barcelona, we worked exactly on this, and we were teaching these juniors. And uh, this was this is one of the I don't know if you've been there or maybe your, your kid was there at the academy. This is one of the first things your kid is gonna they're gonna fix, yeah, when you're gonna go there because lots of players they just not ever they're going they go through the ball, they think it's fine, but then you're losing the step. And then when you see all the Spanish players, Juan Carlos Ferrero, you name it, David Ferrer, all of these open stance thing there. Yes, going up from the legs, going everything into the ball, put everything, but try to keep that right leg behind you. Try not to overturn and lose that step. Yeah? Try. It's gonna help you. You're gonna be saving so much energy on that footwork. Yeah, when you're gonna be recovering back or you, you know, or whatever. If your if your opponent's gonna hit down the line, you don't want to be in this position. Never, nevertheless, uh, and also don't forget that if I'm here, I'm inside a court. It's not a great position to be in, yeah? unless you're attacking and then maybe you follow to the net. But it's always better to stay here, don't lose it, up, and then, then you just move there. Keep the right leg behind you. Everything else to the right leg, but try not to lose that, that step. That, it, it's the right hip, actually. Yeah? You don't want to lose it too much. Yeah? Everything has to be released. Everything has to go into the ball, but try to keep the right leg behind you. Just like most of the pros do. All of the pros, I would say. focus on keeping the right leg behind <sighs> same way transfer but really getting it out <sighs> but not losing that step <sighs> as effortless as before <sighs> but I'm not losing the step yet <sighs> transfer from the legs into the body <sighs> but I'm not losing the initial position
losing the position again. Easy to recover. And it's just, it's just much more in control. That's the whole point. So I hope this will help your forehand a lot. I hope this will fix it a little bit. I'm sure it will do. Just start focusing on that. You're not losing that step. It's gonna be just much easier for you to play tennis and the forehand in general. You're gonna enjoy it and you're gonna be getting lost in the core there with the footwork and positions and all this. And you're gonna be getting less tired also. So we're keeping the right leg behind. We're trying to keep that right leg behind. We're not losing that initial step. And yeah, that's it. I hope you liked it today. If you did so, make sure to subscribe, hit that notification button, like this video. Feel free to comment below what other videos you want me to make. And feel free to share with your tennis fan who can also benefit from this session. I want this community, this channel to grow so I can help as many club players as possible. And lastly, if you want to turn your forehand into a massive weapon and if you want to start dominating your opponents and start winning matches, check out my problem program. There is a link below and right now you can get it It's 60% off. It's a special offer. It's not going to be there forever. So make sure to check it out. And lastly, if you want to check out my tennis fit application, you can still download it for free and it's loaded with over 350 tennis training sessions, drills and exercises and everything that I've done over the past three, four years for you to learn from me. And I hope it's gonna help you as much as I want. So thanks for watching today and have a great day.